I figured I would just make a quick video showing you how I made the ball joints and uh, generally what I did to make the joints for the Terminator. These are the wrist joints and the ankle joints and they had to be a ball joint. A lot of things have to be a ball joint. I made these for the sides. They run along the sides of the spine and uh, all of this is movie accurate so if you're looking at that and say that's weird that doesn't go anywhere in a Terminator look it up it does. Uh, so how I made these basically a lot of people told me it was impractical or improbable for me to make my own ball joints uh, and I should just buy some but I can't find any I would have to get them custom made and I make metal stuff custom so why not just make them myself so I ordered uh, this is a one inch ball bearing ball I welded all thread onto it this is an inch and a quarter I believe no inch and three eighths shaft and so I just drilled out the inside and uh, kept stepping up the bit so that it stayed smooth and then I used a rotor brooch for the last little bit. I set it so that when you put the ball in, it still sets above the edge a little bit. And as you can see, it's a good, smooth, tight fit. And then this cap, which looks very much like a lightsaber hilt cover, goes over the top. And then it will weld on here through those holes. It's plug welding on because I don't want it to weld on too tight because I need to be able to get it off sometime if uh, you know I need to replace the joint after we blow its arms off. And uh, so I just thought I would show how I made these because a lot of people think it's impractical or they are incapable of making a lot of parts themselves. And uh, yet here I made ball joints, a very much impractical piece to make. Um, and uh, there it is. So I thought I would just show people that and how I did it for any of those who ever want to make ball joints. 